you please introduce yourself? I'm Mame Warren, and I've spent the last four years working here at the Marshall Foundation as the senior assistant editor of the Marshall Papers, but now I've returned as an independent researcher to explore so many of the things that I have looked at in the last four years but haven't had the opportunity to really spend time with. And so I'm excited to be here and really being able to work on my own time and explore all the treasures that are here in the archives. Um, can you tell me what specifically brought you back uh, to conduct research in the archives? Well, yeah, I spent so much time having to concentrate uh, very specifically on the era that we were working on while General Marshall was Secretary of State and Secretary of Defense and his retirement years and also when he was President of the American Red Cross. And that was a very narrow window of time from 1947 to 1959. But in doing the research on those documents, we were constantly going back and looking all through the Marshall Papers. And it was, it was so exciting as a researcher because we were constantly seeing how many just amazing things there are hidden in the Marshall Papers. Not only are there all the documents that Marshall himself generated and his staff generated, but there's all this correspondence with the many just remarkable, remarkable personalities that he interacted with all through his career. And occasionally, especially in his retirement years, he was corresponding a lot with people that he'd known or much earlier in his life and so I was frequently going back and looking trying to figure out who these people were going back into records from much earlier times in his life and all of that was just so fascinating but I had to keep pushing ahead so now on my own time I have the leisure to come back and really try to spend some time and explore what is here and in particular I want to spend time reading the correspondence from all these other people who were friends of Marshall's and it is a who's who of the 20th century people that he knew really all through his life not just when he became famous as chief of staff his army career it exposed him all through his life and all through his career to so many fascinating people and he was he, a lot of people think of him as being this stiff military type but he clearly formed very very endearing relationships with people and the the correspondence is very very personal very warm and that's the kind of thing I want to explore so that's why I've come back and am looking forward to really taking the time to see what's, what's here and just spend time with it and figure out what I might want to do with it. Okay. And uh, would you like to share anything particularly interesting you found in your research thus far that uh, you think uh, viewers would like to know about? Oh, well, there were so many things in particular in the retirement years that were fascinating. Uh, that was when Marshall did a, a grand tour of, he was the head of the American Battle Monuments Commission, and so he did, in 1952, he did a grand tour of all the cemeteries, the military cemeteries, which doesn't sound very exciting, but in doing that, he traveled all over Europe, and of course he did a lot of sightseeing, and they spent a week on Capri, and met up with some movie stars. And I was always very charmed by, he seemed to be very starstruck by movie stars, and um, royalty, he often interacted with royalty, and here we think of, of George Marshall is interacting with all these very high and mighty people, but he himself 
was a very modest person and came from a very modest background. And so he got pretty excited when he met these very uh, uppity people. And he, he it, it's, it's kind of charming to see and read him clearly being excited to be interacting with these people. And he writes home, especially to family members, very proudly that he sat next to the Queen Mother at one of the events when he was the personal representative of President Eisenhower at the coronation of Queen Elizabeth and that kind of thing. I just, I just find that charming. So those, those are the kinds of events that I'm interested in pursuing, the very personal sides of George Marshall and the people that he knew. Well, thank you very much for that. Is there anything else you'd like to share about your research experience? I just can't encourage anybody who's interested in the history of the 20th century, I can't encourage you enough to come to the archives here. There is such a wealth of information. There are so many col hidden collections, things that very few re researchers have ever explored. And <laughs> it is such a wealth of material that is just waiting to be discovered. Come and see us at the Marshall Foundation. Thank you very much, Maine. You're welcome. <laughs>